So guys, um, we've ordered some Pizza Hut. I'm just about to go downstairs and grab it and we'll be back with you. Well, this went bomb. <laughs> Stop eating. <laughs> Have we started? I'm always trying to work it out. But somehow it always falls through. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Jessie. And it's Jessica. So for today's video, we are doing a mukbang. As you can see in front of us, we have Pizza Hut. So we're just going to be talking, answering some questions, going over some topics. And we're just going to be eating. Yeah. We're in our uni accommodation kitchen right now. So thank you guys so much again for 1,000 subscribers. Um, by the time this video is up, we will be announcing the winner this Friday. Yeah, so the, the time that you see this on Friday, we're announcing the winner on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys are checking our Instagram to find out if you're the winner of the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for taking part in the giveaway. We've been working hard, going through all the comments, checking yeah. if you're subscribed, if you're following us, everything. It's been a lot of manual labor, but we've been doing it. <laughs> um, it's manual labor. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Let's so let's, let's explain. Let's explain what we have. <laughs> We have a large margarita pizza, yeah, we're basic we're like that. We've got some extra large, can, I hope you can see this, extra large potato wedges. We've got some sweet chili sauce, we've got some chicken chicken strips, bread chicken strips. strips. And we've got a uh, meat, I think it's the meat feast basically. We've just got a little drink from Aldi. <laughs> we, well, to us, we wouldn't actually order food like no. just regularly, but we're only doing it for this video. So thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Guys, we've got two sweet chili sauces so we don't have to buy. <laughs> We know, imagine we split this. <laughs> Last time we like, did a mukbang was the day before results day, or like the, two days before results day. Mm -hmm. And someone um, commented that we should do like more mukbang, so we hope you guys enjoy. Mm -hmm. Let us know any other videos you want us to do. Papa John's were doing free medium pieces for students, so we ordered them with our flat. And then we had like two slices left, literally just two slices. One, left. and then one, two slices left. So we were like, oh, let's have a little pre-dinner, a little snack. And let's have the pizza. So Jessica takes the pizzas out of the oven. She drops her one. And she's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and obviously, I can't sit there and eat my pizza when she's just dropped hers and she clearly wants it. So I have to get a knife and I have to cut the pizza in half like this and give her the other half. No other sibling would do that for their sibling, but I have to. It's just, I feel like because we're twins, mm -hmm. it has to, you have to be fair in life. <laughs> if you guys have food, eat with us. <laughs> So basically, right now, we're in week... It's the end of week four of oh, being yeah, like, yeah, yeah. teaching. It's, it's the end of teaching week, week four. Of, yeah. But we're actually in week five. We've been here for five weeks. weeks. We haven't gone home yet. Our I'm parents not. came once. Yeah. I think last weekend. They came last weekend to visit us and give us some things. More than we needed. <laughs> but we're very, very thankful. <laughs> but you know when you just say, oh, can you just bring me like... I did you just bring five hangers. <laughs> you brought like 25 instead. But we're very, very thankful that they think about us. It's, it's week five, basically. People always said around the fifth week, you'd have like a mental breakdown where you'd be like, I don't know if I can carry on. This hits you because it's meant to be half term right now, but we're still, still working because we don't have a reading week because yeah. I guess our course just doesn't have one. So you want me to work for 12 weeks straight? Okay. In the first two weeks, you're like, okay, this is like a school trip. Like, this is fun. Like, I've come to Birmingham. Ooh, new room, things like that. But then when it gets to fifth, the fifth, fourth week, you have to stay here. I have to stay here. It's not bad, you know. Mm. This is so good. In terms of making friends at uni, I'm not gonna lie, there's nowhere to go. I mean, there's places to go, but before you even get a chance, it's all fully booked. Mm. So it's kind of, like, I'm not gonna lie, in two weeks, just you know, I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> it's just us. We actually have to make friends. We don't have friends. <laughs> we have, no, we know people. But I feel like it's hard this year to actually make those actual connections and like bonds with people. Yeah. Make them at like, one face to face and you've like got their details. But, but then how it. can I like become your friend? Yeah. You like know, how you know, do you do that? Yeah. You know what I've started to do? I've started to just force it. I've literally just started messaging people. Oh hi, we should be friends. If you wanna go out for um, if you wanna go out for drinks. Drink for a meal, let us know. Yeah. And people ten, nine out of ten, people will say yes. So just do it. Because I think people would like people that are confident mm. and they literally I feel like everyone wants someone to talk to them or like reach out mm. to them. So you mm. just be the one to do it. Ten, nine times out of ten they'll say yes. Mm. Oh I dropped my <laughs> I dropped my chicken on the floor. The chicken! Let's just see my chicken piece. So is this my first one? Yeah, that's my first one as well. To 
actually there's two and a bit, so we have to split the last one. Yeah. Now this is what we do. We actually calculate how much each person has had. Well, a highlight of our unit print so far has been cheerleading. I love it so much. So if you guys don't know, Jesse and I are part of the University of Birmingham cheerleaders, the Birmingham Pussycats. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's only I mean, started, but it's one of the best experiences of my life. life. <laughs> I don't know why. It's not like we're doing that at the most. We're just doing we're just training and doing like we're just meeting and training, but I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I do. Mm. It's so fun. It's so I fun. I don't know what it is about like cheer. I feel like they make, I don't know if it's just the Birmingham Pussycats or whatever, because they're serious, they make you feel like you're somebody. <laughs> what? <laughs> like I feel like I'm a part of something special. We are. Everyone's so nice. Everyone like, all want to, everyone wants to do well like for each other. It's just so like, it's just such a nice environment. If you want to do it, be serious. Mm. So there's a strike system with cheer here in, in Birmingham. So it's three strikes and you're out. If you miss three rehearsals rehearsal for no like proper reason, the re-audition next year. Yeah. So Jesse and I got our first strike. <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so, I was so upset. I was, we were, I was we were mortified. Off. We were on the tears, like on the verge of tears. I can't believe we got a strike each. You know what happened? It was because they it wasn't that we missed the rehearsal. No, 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 no we didn't even miss the rehearsal. It's because they have compulsory like meetings, Zoom meetings, and Jesse and I were doing work and we missed it. <laughs> it just ended and we realized that we missed it. I still can't deal with it to this day. Like yeah. that hurts me. Yes. I didn't want to be the me. person who got, got a strike. strike. Especially as a fresh like I didn't want to give that impression and but I literally we apologized obviously and we said that it was, it's not gonna happen again. I've set multiple alarms on my phone every Monday after alarms. I literally I have post notifications on for every single one of their posts. I'm always checking the posts so I make sure I get all the information when the training times are because for a few days afterwards I was getting very paranoid. Mm -hmm. Like I had massive anxiety where where I would think I'd literally be constantly just asking Jessica, what's today's day? What's the time? What's today? Like, have we missed it? What time is chit What time is chit Like, because I did not want another strike. It actually gave me so much anxiety. Yeah. So next week we have squad, um, squad tryouts. So you can try out for the separate squads. Mm. Like, 83, group stunt, palm, hip hop, jazz. I definitely recommend, if you're going to go to uni or in uni right now, just join a sports team. Mm -hmm. Join a sports team. Mm -hmm. There's this artist that I've discovered, maybe we're late to the we're to late. <laughs> But there's this Nigerian artist called Thames. I don't know if you guys know her, but she is incredible. And my dream, if any of you out there know Thames, can you please, I want to be in her music video. That is all I want because she is incredible. Thames, if you're watching this, hi. And we'd love to like dance in yeah, one of her music would, videos. Oh, I would love it. Just be in it. Let's talk about circuit laundry. <laughs> at uni you know what that is so it's basically the laundry company you have to pay like three pound for a wash for a wash about 180 for a dryer I don't know if it was always this way but now you have to put a minimum of five, five pounds every single time so i would pay for the wash and then i don't i maybe i'm like 20p short for the dryer so i have to put on another five pounds you can't even put the 20p they're snatching my money and it's hurt if you think about it at the end of the year you always have money left over you guys, it's scorpio season so our birthday is on the 14th of November. When we go home, we'll probably go home and get our like hair and nails done. So if you guys want to see a birthday vlog, let us know. Like a prep video, like when we get ready, done, mm -hmm. makeup, hair, the actual like two nights out, mm. and then what we got for our birthday, if I get anything. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know if you guys want to see that. Give you guys advice, because I was talking to uh, someone and they're having issues with their parents about they wanted to do something, but their parents didn't want them to do it. I want to give you guys a bit of advice. Take it, but at the same time, don't take it. 100% listen to your parents because they know what is best and they all, they don't, they want the best for you, 100%. But nine times out of 10, they're scared. That's what they're it is. They're scared. So I'm not gonna lie, if you wanna do something, just do it. Don't do crazy stuff, but if there's something like a, a dream, an opportunity, or an aspiration, like an opportunity that you wanna do and you feel like, you know, I can do this thing, just do it but be reasonable like make make them understand like tell them how you're going to balance it how you're going to do it like give them a plan yeah, don't yeah, just yeah, say yeah. i want to i want to quit school do and this. do music no <laughs> like, think about it mm. i wanted to audition for dance anything, anything. dance even right. cheer no 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 <laughs> no 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 <laughs> you know what jesse and i did 
We sat in our auditions. I can't die knowing, not knowing. Imagine I didn't do it. They came to the shows, they sat down, they enjoyed it. They, that, that's the thing. They're in just the beginning, scared, they always say no. No, 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 you shouldn't do it. This is going to happen. But the moment you're actually doing it, they're you absolutely that you can fine. Do it. Mm-hmm. But obviously, listen to your parents and don't do anything. Don't waste your opportunities based off other people's fear because they're scared. Mm. If you're not scared, do it. Why should you not do something because someone else is scared? I love you, mommy and daddy. And we love you so much. Thank you for always supporting us and loving us. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, good, good. I was going to say, if that was the last one, you didn't half it. I was No, but we have many have you heard? Mm-hmm. We need to half this one. Yeah. Someone had asked us in a comment. They were like, can you talk about racial differences or like lack of diversity coming to uni? I think, I don't know if they meant specifically the University of Birmingham, but or just in general. Like, what we think about it. I'm not going to lie to you. When, when I was coming to the University of Birmingham, it's, it's one certain group that shocked me that wasn't here. <laughs> like, we were quite shocked about the... You couldn't, find, you couldn't find any black people. I, you had to search for but them. <laughs> that was the difference. They were there, but you had, had to, to find them. them. But the thing is, I don't think it's Birmingham. BCU, <laughs> BCU and Aston, I'm sure the black people are there. They're there. I know they're there. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, here. Not. they're here, but you have to find them. You had to find them. I think more. the worst thing. This is the, the one thing that shocked me more was our course. I remember well, coming to uni and our older sister said to us, that you will find, at least you'll find black boys. Black boys do sports science. Sports science, sports, science, sports exercise and health sciences. We think there'd be black boys. Why, how many do, how many have I seen? Three, max. max. Maximum, I've seen three black boys in our course. Sports science. Where are you? <laughs> are, you in the, are you in coaching? Are you in AGM? <laughs> Are you in physiotherapy? But if, that's what shocked me the most. I mean, I understood there'd be no black girls. Like, we're the only ones. Like, I understood. No, oh, there's one. I think I've seen one other black girl. But besides the other girl that I've seen, I literally it's literally see. only Jesse and I. I th- I'm certain. I'm not gonna lie, I'm certain. Maybe it's just the course this year, there wasn't a lot of black Sports boys. Science. Where are the black Maybe boys? Maybe they went to do football training. <laughs> or they went to do football apprenticeship. <laughs> Or make, yeah, or make, no, they're on business. They're on the business course. I think they're doing business. I don't think they're doing sports science. <laughs> they're doing engineering or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I could not see them. Even when I walk through campus, I can't see them. <laughs> you know what, and it's absolutely fine. I just thought like... Yeah, it's actually just, fine. Because it's people fine. always said that like, oh, just don't come to the open days, but they'll be there. Like when you... Yeah, I'm just... We've met some really, really nice people. Like, yeah. I don't feel like... No one's mean. I don't feel left out. Like being the only, like, but being when the only, I'm in a lecture and I'm the only black person in that room, I do feel it. You do automatically. Yeah. I still love it. Mm-hmm. I still, I really, really, really do still love it here. But it just would have been nice. But it, yeah, I guess it's just to see other people. But sometimes you feel like because you're the only, like for example, I'll be the only black girl there. So then it almost feels like I feel some pressure to be to represent. No, I'm not. I don't want to represent us all because we're all different. But I have to. I feel like I have to, like. I've got, to portray, I've got to carry myself well because this is the this is the only black first black person they're probably seeing, and it's me. So I have to put a good be a good impression. Yeah. I have to. always going to be more of the other racial groups than there is going to be you, hundred percent. Like, unless you choose to, unless you choose to be you put yourself in a situation like ACS where there is black. Yeah, go on like a date just me and Jessica on this evening, but <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Why don't we go out? I don't want to just go with Jessica. People will look at us like when we're in the bar and they'll be like, they're lonely. Why? Because why do, why are we... Is it because you going out with me doesn't necessarily mean you're going out with another person. It's basically going out with yourself. yourself. So you, I might as well be sitting at a table by, by myself. myself. Because why am I going to go out with you? Yeah. You dress up and like look nice. For who? For me? <laughs> no. But I mean, maybe if we go out together, we'll meet people like in mm, the places. Mm, mm, mm. Another thing we realised while well, being here for five weeks is how much we love London and how much we did not deep that we were in, in London it. and how like good we had it. Transport? Like when we talked to our flatmates, the, a bus came every hour. hour. They had to pay for the bus to go to school. Oh, one thing I've noticed at being at university like for the first like, couple of weeks, I can tell if someone's from London. 
they give me London energy. Oh, by the way, guys, we're wearing um, Saffron Barker's in the style collection. The oh, tracksuit. Yeah, the matching tracksuits. So, Saffron Barker, if you want to hit us up, <laughs> um, just hit us up for anything. I don't know what, but hit us up. Hell, by someone's vibe, the way they look, the way they walk, the way they talk, what they say, you're from London. We're doing well, aren't we, guys? Like, the amount of food we've eaten, we're doing well. <laughs> you know someone can eat one by themselves? This is a large. Yeah. Never. I'd come here and I'd be so deprived I thought I'd lose, of... I thought we'd lose weight. weight. I thought I'd be deprived of all my meals. <laughs> and I've actually made the effort to make friends. Some people are going to be like, that's nothing. But in my head, that was a lot. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't, like, go up to people and, like, ask for snaps. Like, at a computer, like, lecture. And I was, I was leaving, there were these two guys walking behind me and I was like, I can't go home and not have made friends with anyone or spoken to anyone. So, I slowed down a bit, did my tactics, I hope they're not watching this. I did my <laughs> tactics and I slowed down a bit and then they were walking beside me. And then I was just, I was so scared, honestly, I was so scared because I was like, you're either gonna, I'm gonna be too quiet, I'll be whispering that you're not gonna hear me. Or, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something, you're gonna be like, yeah, and then just disregard me. You guys just in that um, <laughs> computer session <laughs> and they were like yeah and then there was a bit of a silence and i said oh this is it like this is it they're just gonna they're just gonna like continue and they're like, gonna think you're weird i was like yeah yeah, yeah. And then he continued the conversation and then they brought me in and it, it was it just felt so nice and we, they walked like we walked back together well not to this conversation they live somewhere else but we walked back together and i just it just felt so nice. But then we got to the end where we had to cross the road and they did dangerous crossing and they just weren't and it wasn't in me. Cause daddy has always been like, you wait for the green man. <laughs> like wait for the green man and they went. <laughs> I was standing on the other side and I didn't want to make them have to wait for me. Cause they didn't even realize, I don't think, I think they, they kept talking and then they turned around and they were like, oh. And I was on the other side of the road because I didn't want to do dangerous crossing. But at the same time, I'm looking back and I'm thinking I shouldn't have done it, <laughs> but no. I'm not gonna let them walk me to my death. So they went, and then I just ended up being like, "Oh, you can go, like just keep going," because I was gonna turn anyway. We waved. I'm in contact with them now. <laughs> you have to force conversation, like because everyone wants someone to talk to right now. Oh, let's talk about Zara McDermott and Sam Thompson. <laughs> Zara McDermott, she was on Love Island, wasn't she? And then she went on X Factor like to sing, like X Factor celebrities to sing. And she cheated on Sam. Sam was from Made in Chelsea. She cheated on him a year ago. And then only a year later, being now, it has come to light because it was she cheated with a mutual friend of theirs, or a mutual friend of theirs revealed revealed, like exposed it. And honestly, the way we just have been laughing. She has cheated on Sam over a year ago and she can't comprehend why he can't forgive her. That's what I don't understand. She's literally there. <laughs> I genuinely think we can work through this. Like, why I can't, I, I can't throw it away. I just, I just couldn't tell you because I didn't want to break your heart. Constantly uh, and like, the seediness, the little the yes. disrespect. <laughs> the seediness of consistently shagging when you're calling me literally crying yes you can we can work it out she was screaming when he was like i don't think i can ever forgive you she's like stop it stop it stop it <laughs> please stop please no please don't so it's just for me i can't do it you can it was the fact i just think she was so mortified and she couldn't believe that he was actually not gonna take her back that she was there that she did. stop it stop talking stop. <laughs> <laughs> like no she's like at least try like to like to make it work i'm like, thinking you yeah. cheated on him over a year and ago. the only reason she's she's even cried now is because she got caught well, not she, 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 even, she even tried to tell him when they were together but when it got when it came out into the public now you're upset i'm not expecting you to, to take me back mm. because i actually cheated but she was begging we can why would we be able to work it out it's if i was her if i was her i'd be like you know what i understand if you leave me right now i could not hold in the fact that i had cheated for over a year it's a oh yeah i've been trying to do um a scottish accent because one of our lecturers for functional anatomy he's scottish and he says he doesn't say functional anatomy he says functional anatomy <laughs> He says it like that, I love it. To uni. To the three years. Um, 
also reach out to Thames, get us on one of her music videos. Sit down, chill with you guys. We hope you guys ate food with us. We hope you found this entertaining. I was just talking. I don't know if we were talking rubbish or. Yeah. So we have this pizza. We're gonna put it in a container and eat it over the next couple of days. We hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. We hope you guys enjoyed what we talked about. Let us know any like. Let us know topics you want us to discuss yeah. for like future mukbangs if we do them. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to one thousand five hundred subscribers. One thousand five hundred. Yeah. Can we do it? <laughs> If you like this video <laughs> and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey.